When a member of the military is injured or killed in action, one of the medals awarded is the Purple Heart. And on August 17th, several of those recipients will be honored at a very special dinner. And it's also an opportunity to meet with families who are gold star families, Gold Star Mothers specifically. To explain the importance of the dinner, how you can attend is Kara Coleman with the Purple Heart Foundation of North Carolina, and she's joined by Gold Star Mom, Cappy Bordeaux. Thank you ladies both so much for being here. Okay. Let's get just really quickly to the nuts and bolts. Kara, start with you. When is this dinner taking place and why is this something the public should know about? Absolutely. So it's taking place next Saturday, August 17th. It will be at the McKimmon Center that's in Raleigh on NC State's campus. The dinner starts at 5 o'clock and we'll have a special reception for Purple Heart recipients that begins at 4. And the dinner itself beginning at 5 will launch right into our Walk of Honor where we'll have a saber salute and honor each Purple Heart recipient in attendance. And then we of course honor Gold Star Moms and the families of those killed in action too. And it's just such a special time for the community to be able to come out and show these honored guests how much it's meant to them, the different sacrifices that they've made. And that's where Kathy comes in. Kathy, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I know you lost your son, and that's how you became a Gold Star Mom, and obviously we can't thank him enough for his service, and thank you for keeping his legacy going. How do the Gold Star mothers and Gold Star families factor into this particular event? So... The Purple Heart Dinner is kind enough to invite the Gold Star families to, uh, or the Gold Star parents to come. Um, it's, it's the mothers and the fathers. We don't want to leave the fathers out because they're also very important. Um, and so they invite us to come and help us remember our children during this event. So we're very honored that we're able to come and honor our children at this event. And as somebody who obviously has a very personal tie to the military and along with members who are Purple Heart recipients, what does it mean for you to have the public come and be there and understand the sacrifices not only made by your son, but the families as well? We want our public, we want the public to understand that um, our children were very special. They, they made a lot of, um, they were very committed. They loved serving our country and um, as long as we're able to say their names and remember them, they will not be forgotten. And that's one of the things we can do is by having these ceremonies where they can be remembered. And this is an opportunity, I would think, to further expand the support system, if you will, so that people can relate, at least be aware of the sacrifices made by Gold Star families and by Purple Heart recipients. Absolutely, absolutely. And is this something you said that is open to the to the public, anybody who'd like to attend and show support? Yes, absolutely. We are selling tickets through Eventbrite, so you could just search Triangle Purple Heart Dinner, and it's a flat $25 ticket, and that essentially covers the cost of a full delicious sit-down meal. Well, I love it, and, and we're so uh, grateful that your organization is doing this and that, Kathy, you all are willing to share your stories. And as we were talking before, uh, keep the legacies of your children, of your family members going forward. That's incredible. Absolutely. All right. Thank you all so much. And really quickly, let's just go again. The Triangle Purple Heart Dinner again, August the 17th, 5 p.m., taking place in the Kimmon Center on NC State's campus. We're going to put all that information if you want to get the tickets on our website, cbs17.com. We're going to post this story, post this interview uh, just after the newscast. So you'll be able to click on this and uh, hopefully attend. Hope to see you there.